Hello everybody, welcome back to some more of our God Emperor series. Um, I think we can get some more military tech. Yes, we can. So I think we're going to pop that right now. There we go. We now have access to cannons, though I can't really afford cannons. In terms of what's going to be happening in this episode, I think we're probably going to go to war with Wan Per. Because they're getting, they're in another war, I believe, with Delhi and Maywar. So that's kind of a lot of stuff for them to deal with. Let me take a quick look at their army. They still have 20,000 troops out there. Only 2,000 manpower, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll just wait and see what happens after this war with Delhi. A royal marriage offer from... Oh, right. Yes, because we are... <laughs> yes, you're my vassal now. Of course, yes. It makes sense. Um, in fact, I probably should do that with you as well. Um, let's bring you back. And we'll send a royal marriage offer to Doti. There we go. Thank you. Of course. Makes sense. But yeah, so after Delhi, Delhi wins this, I think this should be weak enough for me to kind of just roll in there. And take what's left, which will give us a sizable chunk of territory in between Delhi and Bengal, our allies. Although, that could upset Bengal. Yeah! Bengal kind of used all this, so if I take all of that at once, that's really going to upset them. Ah, oh, man. Decisions, decisions. Uh, they are friendly towards me. I guess without um, Shonda being in there... They're allied with Orissa? I see. Why wouldn't they accept this? Oh, because I'm still allied with uh, Bengal. And the Vizha would have too many diplomatic relations. Well, I mean, we even like each other, though. Hmm. Hmm. How is the Bahamas? Bahamas. I, I will never not call him Baha. Baha something. Bahamas. Still 26,000 with zero manpower and 14,000 mercenaries. It's a lot of mercenaries. That's going to be a lot of money that they are paying out. But they can probably afford it. I, I cannot do that. I guess we just kind of hang on and develop what we already have? I don't have the economy to run a mercenary army at this point. Uh, what's our force limit at? Let's see. Ah, well, we can have four more troops. I probably should do that. That's fine. Fine, fine, okay. If I do recruit some more troops, though, that's going to bring our manpower closer to zero. But at the same time, like, we probably should just grab it, right? Ah, this war is now over. Wait. There's another war. Poor Bandar and Maywar. Oh my god. You poor, poor people. So poor Bandar and Maywar are now fighting. Because it was Delhi, which I think just took some territory over here. And then go right into another war. Interesting. I don't know, man. Maybe... I hate sitting at such low manpower, but if they're going to be going into another war against Maywar, and then there's... Poor, oh, man. They're also war against Sind. There is some stuff happening over here, man. So with that loss of territory, I think that should have lowered the amount of troops that they can hire. Because they're losing land. Yeah, they're now down to 19,000 with a 22,000 forest limit. That's more manageable. Do they still have allies? They're allied with Sindh. But they're no longer allied with Nagapur. Maybe Nagapur is dead, actually, at this point. I wonder if Bengal helps me. But again, I gotta be careful. If I take too much territory at once, Bengal will end their relationship with me. Also, they wouldn't join right now. Hmm. 
I really want a piece of Juan Poor though. Or John Juan Poor. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I want a piece of whatever that is. It looks like I could take. Oh, I see. So the land that I claimed is vital. The Vija are not claiming for their own, at least not yet. So I can go up to Narbada, Handia. Okay, so let me claim some more. I think I can claim the yellow territory without Vija getting upset with me. Let me just let them know where my interests lie. Corn Empire gets a claim on Karanja. Gain 10 prestige. Oh, a claim against Bahamanis. Okay. They're still kind of out of my league, though. Though, they are going to be severely weakened. I feel like I should be recruiting some more troops. I know it drops my manpower down, but after this war of the Vizha, ba Bahamanis may be weak enough. Oh, right. They have allies with Delhi. That's what was going to stop me. But Delhi currently would not join in, whereas Bengal would. So that means I don't have to worry about Delhi and Bengal breaking relationships with each other. Delhi getting upset with me because they're going to be fighting them. But I have no manpower. Neither does Bahamanis. And I think this is a good time to grab some more territory. And deny that territory from the Vizia. Oh man, but they have so many troops. Again, no manpower. I doubt they can... Well, let's look at their economy. Economy comparison. Ba Manis. In total, 14.50. That's not that high. I don't know if that is factoring in their mercenary payments. But those mercenaries are not cheap. And they're currently losing a war with the Vizia. Ah, oh, man. I think. I think after we recruit these soldiers, I I think we go and just claim some territory. With Bengal backing us up, I may not even have to do much of the fighting. I just have to wait for them to get over here. We're going to cancel drilling. I hate going to war with so little manpower, but I just see an opportunity here. And I don't really want to pass it up. And I probably want to try and claim as much of these territories before the Vizha do. Oh man, this is... I think I gotta do it. None of their allies will jump in on this war. So what we're gonna do here is split up. Let's go down to speed uh, two. They may be moving towards me. I need Bengal to move over here. They're on their way. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to back out of that. What territory are we looking at right here? Jungle? I may be willing to hold here. If it's just 13,000... But I don't want to lose all my soldiers, um, because we don't have any manpower. Move up there. There's our four additional soldiers. Here comes Bengal. Ben Bengal, Bengal, whatever. It works. What did I actually do the war against? 
Karanja? Wait, what? Oh, okay, that one. Go grab that. The Wargle. This is a conquest, right? I did the right... Okay. <laughs> I did kind of click the war pretty quickly. I was afraid that I maybe chose the wrong um, decoration type. So I'm going to try and take this Wargle. Morale of armies plus 15% for 10 years? Wow, that's really good. That's really good. Holy crap. Oh, uh, let's see. Ally is taking that. That's fine. That's a level 2 fortress. We may need additional troops over there. And we have to be sieging this down so that the fortress doesn't automatically desiege the territory around it. Alright, so we got the war goal. Oh, this is awkward. Um, they're moving up into here to take that. They're sieging this down, which means we should be free to siege this and this and that. And I think if it's being sieged, the fortress will not unsiege what normally it would. So the way the fortresses work, in case... Ooh, Okay. Looks like Bengal is coming down. We will hold the line. Reinforcements are coming. Reinforcements are coming, right? Okay, the reinforcements came. More reinforcements are coming. I didn't know. A I thought Bengal would have been here. Okay, they are sending more troops. We just gotta hold. Oh my god. Um. We're still going up in innovativeness. Uh, I won't need admin points to core all this territory that we're going to take, so I'm going to sit on our admin tech. We may still lose this. Holy crap, this is so close. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wow, that was close. Oh, right. Hi, Vizha. Hope your part of the war is going great. There goes all my manpower. God. Thank goodness for Bengal. Alright, we'll take this military idea. Increasing siege capabilities by 20%. Siege ability, not capabilities. Oh boy, that was that was kind of scary. It still kind of sucks. Also, I have two free diplomats right now. Hmm. Hmm. I'll keep one free. All right, let's focus down on this fortress first, and then we'll move out. Oh, we yeah, actually have another fortress. Let's siege. Is there no way? Is that the only way I can get there? Okay. Their army is still out here. Like, it's not totally crushed. So we still gotta be a little careful. But again, what we're doing here is trying to deny as much territory, which is why we're starting from in the south. We're trying to prevent as much territory falling into the Vizja as we can. Although they will probably claim this coastline.
Oh, wait, they already claimed this. Oh, my God. I couldn't even see the lines on the line. Jesus. All right, go over here. All right, we're now sitting at zero manpower. Bamanis is back in action. Hopefully, Bengal will ward them off. I think I'm just going to sit here for right now. I want to get, uh, get this fortress first. Then we'll worry about other stuff. 15 army tradition? Yeah, I will take that. Army tradition is really cool. Army tradition, if it's high enough, you can recruit really good generals. And really good generals can turn the tides of war. It, they're really important. Uh, it does also give you other bonuses on top of that, too. Let me just let me see what we got here. Morale of armies, recovery speed, and siege ability currently. But the higher the tradition when you recruit a general, it also gives you a better general in most cases. Okay, so we got that. Let's combine our army. It looks like the enemy is going to be heading into my territory. Let's see if we can push them out. Uh, let's do this. Detach for siege. Leave 1k behind to start capturing more stuff. Looks like they are bugging out. How are they losing so many people? What is going on there? Maybe it's mercenaries they're forced... Oh, you know what? Maybe they are... Yeah, maybe their mercenaries are not getting paid. Maybe they're leaving. Let me see. Because that's the only thing I can think of while their army is just dropping so fast. There's no attrition happening. Yep, they're down to two mercenaries. Oh my god. That means they must be bankrupt. Oh, dude, it's on. Let's finish them off. Wow. Oh, man, it's just, like, free pickings now, dude. Uh, go for the big castle sieges right now. Also, mm, let's send these over here. Holy crap. Poor Bamanis, dude. The Vizia kept pummeling them with their allies with the Andra. I pummeled them, I think, maybe. Oh, wait, no, I never actually went to war against them with the Andra on my side. But still, Bengal was on my side. So they've had to fight Bengal and the Vizia at the same time. And other wars, too. Wow. That's really unfortunate for them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't let these all, all these little 1K stacks uh, get together. Okay, that's still enough soldiers to be... Alright, let's actually bug out. Okay, they, they got some more troops real quick. Alright, alright. I'm backing out. I'm backing out. We need to wait for them to get out of there. My ports are blockaded. What? By who? The only ports I have are right here. Oh, no. I technically do occupy this territory because Bengal took it for me. Uh, Bengal, I really need you to fight their army, man. to suck in here. I can't walk past the fortress. Bengal, please.
Wait, did that get... Oh, the Vizia's war is over. Oh, I see. Okay. That's why this has been unseaged. I really need the Bengal army over here. Crap, looks like we're gonna get caught. That is most unfortunate. Needs to retreat. That is pretty high. I'll spin the Diplo to lower that. And do it again. Um, I need the War Goal, though. Looks like they really want to kill this stack. We got the war goal back. I really need Bengal to come over here and help me out. Are they really going to catch us? Oh my god! Oh, that really sucks. Okay, it's fine. Go! Everybody's just sitting on this one fortress. Oh, you know what? If they're coming my way, no, they're not. They're going to actually siege down Bengal now. Well. I need to be very careful. Bengal will still win this war for me. It's just a matter of how many troops am I going to lose. So they're gonna try and de siege that, maybe? Yeah, they are. Okay. Well, that buys us some time. We'll just keep sieging down what they unseige. We're waiting for this giant stack to get it back into the action. Kind of need their help here. Oh my goodness. And I could hire mercenaries. I may need to. Well, no, I probably should. I, like, I shouldn't have to. I just need to wait for Bengal to win this for me. I need to be patient.
Are they heading back to their own territory? What, to deal with the rebels? Or are they trying to come to me? Oh, they may be trying to merge with me. That's what they're doing. Alright, let's do it then. Very good. Uh, we kind of need to let our morale get up a little bit more. Ooh, but I don't want them to unseach that. Ooh, boy. Okay. Our morale is really low right now. If we jump into this 15k stack, that would probably be a bad idea. Because we're going to have to do a river crossing as well. But, they are going to incur the penalty of fighting in the hills. Because that fortress belongs to us. Alright, let's go. There we go. They forced a retreat. Uh, we'll snag them when they lock up. Lose army professionalism. Local manpower modifier goes down for the Orissa area. This is going to be a couple of our provinces. Or they lose 10 loyalty. We gain army professionalism. We get local unrest plus 8 in the Orissa area for 10 years. I think I'll lose the army professionalism and the local manpower modifier. I don't want to deal with the unrest. There we go. Let's go over to Chandar. Chanda. Sorry. Ooh, nice. The second Bengal army. Okay, I guess we are not going to catch them. Hopefully we catch them here. Another idea, I will take it. Land force limit modifier plus 20% so we can have more troops. Not a thing that I can do with right now because I have zero manpower. Oh my god, part of the army has withdrawn. We got a retreat. Gosh darn it. This AK stack separated, and we needed that AK stack to fight with us. <sighs> Maybe I just see what I can get for a... Victory now. Uh, what was it the Vish, Visha wants? So these two, they view as crucial. Um. Well, in this peace deal, we can still get a lot. Of territory. A coalition is not so scary. Hmm. It's 
sizable chunk of territory that I'm gonna have to core. I mean, I think if we keep this war going, we'll probably be able to get more because Bengal will come back and assist us some more. But I think I'm gonna be okay with this. I've been sitting at like no manpower, so I need to kind of recuperate here. Let's send our demands. That was a relatively easy war. And we got a lot of good gains for an easy war. Alright, let's core this stuff up. We're probably gonna have to increase the um, autonomy. Because, oh my god, all that unrest. Holy crap. That is a lot. Gonna be a long time until those territories really do much for us. Also, our corruption is growing, which is gonna be very expensive to deal with. At the same time, though, don't we have the lower corruption button? But only if their influence is 40 or, or 60 or greater, and they're at five. So that's not a thing that I can really hit. Well, we're just going to have to pay to root out corruption then. There we go. So pay a little bit more money there. We can still grab some more admin, even on top of coring all those. We're at 9.4 innovativeness. Let's grab it. So now we have another idea slot. So I'm thinking we go down a Diplo idea. But it, what, which, like, which one would I want? Income from vassals, yearly prestige, new heirs, which I don't care about. Diplomatic annexation costs, so it's cheaper to annex our vassals. Aggressive expansion impact, so we can take more without upsetting a bunch of countries as much. Reputation, I just bit my tongue, oh my god. Uh, re reputation is going to increase our, like, how the world views us in a positive way. More diplomatic relations would enable us to either have more alliances or more vassals. Vassal force limit contribution. By granting considerable autonomy to vassals in border regions, these marcher lords will be able to raise large military armies to support us in our wars. And then unjustified demands minus 50%. When fully unlocked, you gain the following additional benefit. I never take influence ideas because I don't really mess with vassals that much, but I wanted to in this series. I just don't think we're there yet. For this to make much of an impact. Maybe later. Hmm, but what else would I do? Trade is pretty good. I normally go with colonists. And like we could do colonies down here. But I don't know if we want to play a colonial game. So that leaves us like an espionage I don't think is really that great. So we get diplomatic ideas. More relations, so again more vassals. Cost of reducing war exhaustion, so we can fight longer for cheaper, well, potentially. Improved relations I don't care about, reputation is good. Province war score costs. Okay. Lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. Hmm, man. Trade ideas is always a decent one, but I don't think we're there yet. Because <laughs> we don't have that much influence in any of the trade nodes. This will help us a little bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe we do take the influence ideas. Sure. You know what? Why not? We'll take it. Income from vassals plus 25%. Why not, friends? Why not? I don't think that was the best move, but eh, it's whatever. So, we have not even a thousand troops right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we really need some manpower. Um... 
That's good news. I don't think there's a way that I can just kind of get free troops. Well, free manpower, anyway. I can try and build some more barracks. That would help. A little bit. Ugh. This is going to take some time, so we are very weak right now. Malwa has announced this as their rival. Okay. Oh, I, I guess I did announce them as my rival as well. Okay, well, we should probably build a spy network against them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, so, when can I annex you? Oh, I can do it right now. Oh, they must have one core province that is close enough for us to core. I'm not going to be able to annex them for a while. Eh. Well, okay. What about you guys? This year. But they do not have a high enough opinion of us right now. Our diplomat is still working on that. Alright. So that was a pretty costly war. We have no troops left. I guess we will do some drilling. This could be bad. If someone declares on me, that, that could be it. That could be really bad. Like, really, 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 really bad. Oh, boy. Let's just hope no one declares on me. I mean, we do have Bengal as an ally. We do have Andra as an ally still. Maybe that will keep people off our backs. Or if not, then hopefully Bengal will be strong enough to help me. Because I'm screwed otherwise. Alright, let's go to speed 4. Mm, the fall of Kyoto. Alright, new emperor in Japan. What was he going to look at? Governments. Okay. No. I think we just kind of hang out. We'll mothball this fortress. Fortress is mothballed. And we are in a very bad situation. As long as no one attacks me, then the war we did against the Bahamanis are is, is fine. Local goods produced minus 0. 0.25. Well, I mean, all right, ten years. But if someone does attack us, then well, I made a mistake. <laughs> a big old mistake. I do have a free diplomat. They'll do something. At some point. Actually, you come back. Let's try and keep our relations high with the Vizia. They no longer feel positive towards me. Unfortunate. Our troops are growing. Slowly. With that amount of money, we could probably afford an advisor. We need an advisor that has manpower recovery, but I think that's only in military and there was none available. Uh. And right now we're doing diplomatic and military ideas, so that's probably what we want to focus on. I'll do morale of armies guy. Finish up those military ideas real quick. Looks like we may be able to do another reform. Very soon. That's exciting. But no wars for us for a while, friends. Ideally. Hey, there we go. A government reform. What do we got? Centralized bureaucracy. Monthly autonomy change. That's really good. Max promoted cultures. Oh. Oh, man. 
since we're wanting to destroy the world, we're going to want to be able to accept as many cultures as we can to help with our unrest issues. Unless I take humanist ideas. I may need to take humanist ideas. It's just really good for what we're doing. <sighs> but yeah, monthly autonomy change. So that means all of these autonomy numbers are going to be going down quicker. So that means we can... You know, it's a shortened amount of time before our conquered territory becomes actually profitable for us. So that's really good. They're both really good. Um, where's that reform? There we go. Uh... Oh, man. They're both really good. I think overall in this type of game, the autonomy change will be a bigger impact. I think? So we're gonna take that. I like both. I definitely like both. Uh, let's see. Rebellions are a brewing. Some of our cores are finishing. That's really good. With the more coring, the less overextension we have, which means the less unrest we have, and the less um, corruption we have. Oh, this is fine. Let them cost more for five years. Listen, I can't even afford to buy more. That is a okay in my book. We can now declare war on calm. <laughs> hey, our lord is increased. Or not our lord, sorry, our general. Yay for drilling. How is our army professionalism? Eh, it's barely moved since last. Local tax modifier plus 20%. Excellent. More money. <sighs> I'm really worried, friends. I am really worried. Hey, Age of Discovery is ending. I didn't even get to do anything in here, because I haven't really fulfilled any of these to give me a lot of points. Maybe we'll be able to grab something before the end of the Age. Truce with Orissa is over. Let's make some more buildings that will make us money. The earlier you build them, the more money they make you over the course of the game, so it's good. We do have a free diplomat. We can start fabricating cores on... Malwa. We'll do Mandala. And let that spy kind of keep going until we can fabricate on everything that we touch. Not that we're going to be going to war anytime soon. No, 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 no. What we can do is look at the trade. Do I have influence somewhere else? We do. We have a little bit of influence over here, over here, over there. As long as there's a percentage, we have some amount of influence over there. So ideally... We send trade down into our home node to collect. I even have percentage in here? Really? Alright, so I'm going to send our other merchants. Which will give us some more trade power in here to shift more money out of this node up into ours so that hopefully we can collect a little bit more. Not that we even own that much here. I need to get a tra- a, uh... Uh, trade fleet up before we really get that going but I'm nowhere near building ships I mean I, I can it's just I need a lot of money maybe I should start because you don't really have that many sailors that we can have employed at once so it probably would be a good idea to actually start doing that we can grab a new idea for diplomacy how's our tech uh, we're one year ahead. I'll grab the idea, I think. Yearly prestige? I don't care about the chance of new air because we live forever. Innovating us now to 11.5. Oh! Lowering the amount of uh, tradition decay is really good. Keeping that tradition up longer. I like it. Gain some manpower. They'll gain liberty desire and their opinion will change. 
I mean, 1,400 manpower <laughs> is kind of a lot right now, but uh, that kind of reminded me that I need to... Why are you still at 160? Oh, aggressive expansion, and they force fast lights. This is still going. I need them to be at 190. Dang it. They have no real liberation desire. I guess what we have to do is just wait for these negatives to bleed off. The aggressive expansion and the forced vassalization. And then they will be into a situation where we can't annex them. But for now, I can't. And they need to have an opinion of 190 for us. Oh my god, this manpower problem. Oh, this will complete our military idea. I think we're going to take this. So we gain 5% additional discipline and we get uh, recover army morale speed. Whoa, cancel. I almost destroyed the entire idea. And on top of that, we have missionary strength. Huzzah. Though we're not doing any conversions yet, but we will eventually. So now the discipline of our troops should be at what? 118%? 117.5. That's pretty disciplined. That is pretty good. Not too shabby. What is our... Yay, another core. What is our force limit at? 21. Our force limit is at 21. That's how much manpower we need. Like, if I... We'll be in a really good spot if I can actually have 21,000 troops on the field. Local missionary strength minus 100%? Sure, dude. We're not converting right now. That's fine. Uh, we do have that free diplomat. Hmm. Also, let's do another claim on you. go and we can do one more claim so we'll let the spy continue to build with our free troop oh let's send um let's send them your way improve relations keep our relations with bengal up Ooh, delhi would dang With a royal marriage and improving relations, we could probably get Delhi into an alliance. Problem being, that would go over our diplomatic relations. And if we go over diplomatic relations, then I believe it starts draining our diplomatic power. Oh man, I really wish I could annex you. But I'm not close enough to consider core. That is un. Fortunate. Man, getting Delhi as another ally would be like the that'd just be the best. With their help, we would not have to worry about the Vija at all. Oh, innovativeness is decreasing due to other countries being more technologically advanced than us. Gosh darn it! Is it the Vija? They're at five six seven. We're at seven seven seven. Ah, Bamanis is at an 8 Diplotech. So I guess that's enough for us to be behind? I mean, technically, that it's true. We are behind. Recall Diplomat. So I think that's the last of our coring. It is. So we have no more overextension. That's really good. Rebel factions aren't doing anything. We still have a free Diplomat. I don't know. I mean, I guess we can top off relations with you, but it's already basically topped off. Uh, they like us again. They would maybe willing to royal marriage us again. But the thing is, now I'm establishing enough relations up here. If we get Delhi, then I'm cool with not being friends with the Vizia, because then we can just take all their territory. Cinda, you hate me. 
Maywar. Maywar, we can just improve relations with you. We got a diplomat hanging around, why not? You could prove useful in the future. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? So let's see, we have 7,000 troops here, so when we finally get to 7,000, we'll start banking. Queen Dipti has tragically died. I think that was our first queen. My queen! Well, we are 87 years old, but we are mortal, so that does not matter. Um, we could enter another royal alliance or royal marriage, so let's do that. We'll bring back the Maywar person. Royal marriage. Yay, new queen. And then improve relations again. We really need to annex these people so we can open up a relations slot for Delhi. I may just go for it anyway. Will Royal Marriage, which gives us another plus 25. So I think that would be enough for them to accept the alliance. And I think, I think, going over your diplomatic relations only drains you of minus one diplo per relation you're going over, which is usually a big deal. But with a 666 Immortal Leader, it's not that big of a deal. I need to test this out first. Someone needs to give me a... Hold on. Come back, because I need to test this out. We need military access through somebody. Doesn't matter. Alright, because that puts us over our relation slot. So, being over a relation slot. Is that draining? Aha! Will cost us one Diplo each month. Which, again, is pretty huge. But, if we can secure an alliance with Delhi, I think I will be willing to eat that one point. Uh, we're going to have to cancel this. Obviously. Thank you for that test. So, let's do... Because you're still allied with Bengal, right? Yeah, they are. And with Mewar. So... That will limit our expansion in the north a little bit, but I think that's fine. I have two decently sized allies with me for defensive purposes. Yep, and then there's the alliance. It's cool. It's fine. I will eat that Diplo spot. Or that Diplo point per month. Uh, Vinnad's opinion of the Corn Empire changes by minus 50. I don't even know who they are. Um... Who is Vinad? <laughs> uh, do not care about them. That's fine. Alright, so Delhi, we're going to offer the alliance. Oh, we lost your CBs against them. We're going to have to re up those. I'll do that right now. Oh, not approved relations. Bill Spy Network. All right, so now we are allied with Delhi and Bengal. That is going to help us out a lot. It is costing us one Diplo point. That is a sacrifice I am willing to make. We can gain a diplomatic reputation advisor for 50% cheaper. That would help counteract what just happened there, but can I afford them? Or do I want the Gondwana area for 10 years to give us more taxes, manpower, and local development costs minus 10%? Uh, what is the Gondwana area? Gondwana. So this is still suffering from a high autonomy. So honestly, these modifiers don't really matter. It's not going to be that big of an impact because most of everything from these provinces are going to be sucked away by the autonomy. But this would make me lose 10 prestige, though. Ah, I don't want to lose 10 prestige. But I am curious how expensive that reputation dude will be. Alright, I'll do it. How much are you going to be at half price? 255. A steal for a plus two. Truly. But I don't think I can afford you. 
I mean, we can. Uh, la, 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 la. But we don't really need dip diplomatic reputation right now either. But I did just lose 10 prestige. I was just curious how much they would cost. I guess I could have just went in here and saw that these are 5.1 and then could have guessed. Uh. Hmm. It does help us counteract the over diplomatic reputation. Uh. It's a lot of money though. It's going to be like most of our money. I don't think I can. I can't justify it. We won't be making any money. Speaking about money, let's go spend money to make money. Ooh, not enough money. That is. We can make some states. Don't want to make a state there. I think I'd be willing to state this. We own all of them. Sure. Well, Corin. I would be willing to state this. Core that. Oh, there are some non-Hindu people here. 128 months? Oh my god. Non-accepted culture? Shia faith? Really? 128 months? My god. You have such a strong missionary strength, too. That seems crazy. Uh, let's see. Gandhi we can now accept. How many people are, uh... Gandhi? I, uh, there's gonna be a map mode for that. I know there's a culture map mode. They have a map mode for everything. This is Gandhi? Okay. I think that's worth grabbing. There we go. They are now accepted culture. Ooh, we have a fulfilled mission. This is the first one. Center of culture. Uh, Corn Empire gains a permanent claim on the Upper Doab area. Upper Doab? Okay. I don't even know if I want that because then we would have a claim on Delhi, which they may not like. Oh, Conquer Delhi. I see. Well, let's not click these yet. That cannot be right. How is it? I mean, we'll send it. That seems crazy. Times of need. Uh, they would give us money. Uh, monarch points? Manpower. Give me manpower. Please and thank you. <gasps> We're getting close. 2,000 manpower. Thank you. My friends, you have done me a great service. I will not forget this as I annex you into my, my territory. <laughs> Looks like there's a war going on up here. Something's brewing. I'm not a part of it. I'm okay with that. We are so very close. Um, let's send another relations to you. Ooh, yeah, right. Build a uh, fabricated claim. And then we will pull you back. Send you over here. Honestly, we could probably just send them a gift. And then that would be enough for us to be able to annex them at this point. Actually, just the improved relations will be enough. Never mind. We're good. We are good. So what is... That's fine. That's fine, too. So what's the war going on? Send and... Okay, so they're fighting these guys and send again. And Bengal is in there, too? All right. Well, they did not call me, so I am okay with that. 
So right now we're just looking at this. When that becomes 190, we're going to start annexing them. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Well, that's not that much. Well, it's also not that much, but I'll take it at this point. Any kind of manpower is good manpower. What is this? Kelpie. Kelpie. What? What? One more month and we are good. There it is. We're good. All right. Stop improving relations. Come back and then we annex. There it is. All right. Then that's going to free up our diplomatic point for having too many relations. So that's good. Manpower is recovering. We can have 16,000 manpower. I think I'm going to start actually recruiting some more troops at this point. We need to get our army count up. I need to get up to a force limit of 21,000. Spy network construction increased or gain five prestige? Gain five prestige. I think is the answer there. And also, I think that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. So thank you for watching. Next episode, probably not going to go to war. Like, I really need to get our manpower up. So we need to have another, what, like 12,000 manpower just to get our army up to the max. And then after that, we need an additional 16,000 to max it out. So we are so behind on manpower right now. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Like, I'm not laughing. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Take care.